Hi guys, uh, John and Jack here. Today we'll be looking um, at some self-defense applications and we're going to look at a small sequence in the kata seipai. Okay, so um, you have this sequence here where the hand comes up and it rolls round and then you have this quite this, this move here where your hand rolls round, the cat turns and it rolls like that. Okay? So you can do this from lots of different things. You can do it from the hook, um, someone trying to punch you, someone trying to grab you. We're going to do it from the clinch. And the clinch could be someone grabbing hold of your gate, it could be someone it's gone past kind of um, you know, pushing and punching and things like that, and it's ended up and you're sort of here in this horrible position, and you're grabbing hold of someone that's trying to attack you and hurt you. So we're going to do it from there today, all right? Now, when you're in this position, there's, there's what I like to call softeners, okay? Now a punch, yeah, a straight punch or a straight kick or anything like that doesn't really work from here. What you do have, yeah, is you do have knees, can you? Yeah, you do have elbows, bang, in there from either side. Yeah, you might have uppercuts and tight hooks. And I always think, you know, you sort of look at your watch, you can turn it over, bang, and strike in like that. All right, so that's really your first port of call. It's sort of grabbing you here is you've, you, you've got to put a strike in there, either a softener or just to get rid of them initially um, with, with a technique, you know. And especially for sort of like women and kids, it might not just be one. You have to be persistent, you know, to get yourself out of that situation. All right, so um, the first position is here, which I always think, if you're in this position, pull this down, you've got bang, you've got an uppercut, which you can strike in through there, yeah? So we're here, I've gone bang, strike up in there, okay? Which extends his head like that, and I bring this down, which gives me lots of room. This next kind of, um, all, you know, this part in the sequence, it snakes round here and underneath, yeah? Okay, now, if I just, just to show you, yeah, there's a big gap there, I don't want that gap. In, in the cat sequence, yeah, you go here and the body turns and closes it up, okay? So I've got to here, da, 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 da. There's, a, there's a big gap here, okay, and if I turn my body, I close the gap. And I've got a little, a little, got a little bit of leverage, yeah, if I go this way, yeah, and my elbow, yeah, this, this, this is kind of pull it in tight and I turn, I turn my hips off. Now, Jack should be able to feel his neck sort of stretching. Is that, yeah, <laughs> like that, okay. And then from there, now I'm going to open it up again so you can see. There's lots of different grips you can do. In the cat, it's like this, and that would be fine. You could, you know, I always think, leave the hand like that and push this up because that's how it is in the cat. But if you want it a little bit more efficient, yeah, you can grab hold of the wrist nice and tight like that. You've turned, so there's no gap. You might be twisted in with the hips, okay? You've got this elbow tight already. If I just squeeze, yeah, that's not very nice. But we don't want to use brute force. We want to use technique, yeah, especially for people that aren't super strong, yeah? So we do all those things. We make it tight. We've got this. And then, look, all I do is I stand up and push my hips forward. Yeah, you don't have to have strong arms, or big biceps, or anything like that. The power from your glutes, and your hips, and your pelvis, and your legs, and your core, is a huge muscle group. And I'm just tight, I'm not squeezing any tighter, I'm just standing up. Yeah, with that twisting as well, really, really quick. Now, this is, you alright? Oh, yeah. Now this is, this is like a blood choke, because we're cutting stuff off on the sides, but on the front from lots of different angles. Within about... I don't know, what do you reckon, about six seconds, yeah? Maybe less, maybe more, depending on the person. They're probably going to be unconscious, all right? So you've got to be super careful with that sort of stuff. So just to watch the whole sequence once again. Okay, so you grab them here, come in, bang, so I can then pull down, snake round, come to here, yeah? I grab my wrist, I turn in, yeah? I squeeze everything tight, and I stand up. And we get that tap. Now I'm putting in no effort. I'm literally just standing <coughs> and just keeping everything super duper tight in there. All right, okay. Um, so yeah, that's basically that, that move um, from Seipai. Practice that one part very, very, very carefully with that one, okay. Use the tap, use the safety, look after each other. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.